Hello, good evening, and welcome to the 2022 Hardwick Area Humanitarian Awards Ceremony. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I, I'm Richard Roshu, uh, a Kiwanis member and um, for many years. And this is a, a, uh, an event that we used to do quite a few years back. And Sherry said, she, she called me up and said, we, we are going to start it all over again. And uh, again, and this year, and present it to the people. And so she asked me to, to be the uh, master of ceremonies. Isn't that great? <laughs> this, I'm not retired yet, so I'm still around. But it makes, <clears throat> and I'm visible, so therefore, uh, she thought she could peg me. And I, I never say no, so anyway, so she knew what I would answer. And, uh, Don't ask him to say he will. Yeah. And. Uh, Hardwick, is that Hardwick Area Community TV This is, is recording this? Okay. All right. So, anyways, as, as Sullivan would say, on with the show. All right. Okay. So, here we are. So, first, our first award tonight, and I, I welcome you also on a nice, cool night in Hardwick. Uh, not as cold as last night, but it's, it's a cold fre February night, and people make <clears throat> a conscientious effort to attend things that they can. Uh, risk life and limb and weather it doesn't matter you get here all right first is our first award is from from the Center for Ag Economy um, and then Bethany Dunbar will make the first presentation hey have Bethany please come forward thank you hi everybody and Bethany, I'm in the Kiwanis too, and I work for the Center for an Agricultural Economy. So we nominated Celine LeBlanc for a Hardwick Area Humanitarian Award. Celine volunteered to coordinate the Hardwick Restaurant Meal Giveaway Project at the beginning of the pandemic that later merged into Everyone Eats, which is a statewide restaurant meal giveaway. Everyone Eats just celebrated providing its two millionth meal wow. statewide and is credited with keeping restaurants open, staff in place while feeding hungry neighbors. The Hardwick Area Hub has given away 50,000 of those meals. Celine was the friendly voice on the other end of the phone or email, signing people up, arranging for deliveries of meals, providing restaurants with a list of participants who would pick up meals, troubleshooting, handling complaints, and just in general, checking in with people about their day. Social isolation has been a huge issue during the pandemic, and Celine's willingness to spend extra time with people has been an incredible gift to Hardwick and the neighboring towns. So Lynn lives in Hardwick, but has family all over the Northeast Kingdom. She is a founding member of the Northeast Kingdom, Northeast Kingdom Organizing's Disability Justice League, a community organizing issue team that brings people together to work on challenges facing our communities. So Lynn is a bright star for CAE and the Hardwick community, always working to help people Make our lives better and our community a better place. Thank you, Celine. I'm going to put that before you go away. Thank you. Our next award uh, is, and I would like to call up on Rob McLeod from the East Hardwick Range to make his presentation. Okay. Good evening, everybody. So um, let's continue the theme of feeding people um, because. Not this winter, we're not doing it this winter, but last winter, Rose had the idea, like, 
people really need food. And so the East Harbor Grange also sponsored a weekly meal every Wednesday, which Rose organized the donations for food and coordinating people to make the meals. But since the kitchen in the Grange is not functional, we had to do it in Greensboro and then bring it back to the Grange to distribute it. And she also helped organize creating a little teeny tiny food pantry that sees a lot of food go through it um, still. So, and she's also instrumental in reviving the Grange. It was pretty close to ceasing to exist. Mm -hmm. And she rallied community people to become members and we're working on revitalizing the space so it can become a community space. So there's all that and of course, we know Rose as one of the founding members of Vermont Vaudeville, who have entertained like thousands of people, and Modern Times Theater with her husband Justin, who have entertained thousands more people. So I can't think of anybody more deserving for a local humanitarian <laughs> award. to receive this award um, because uh, I love living in Hardwick and, um, and I love uh, being amongst this company of people, feeding people and making things happen um, that are not official but now become official just by us breathing new life into them. Um, and I'm very excited about all the wonderful things that are coming, the Spring Festival, more donuts, <laughs> the Grange being a community center and actually being accessible so that there's a place in East Hardwick for people to gather. So thanks very much. Here we go, we'll be right along the next, <clears throat> next award. I'd like to call on uh, John Melvance to present an award from the Harvard Rescue Squad. Okay. I had to work my down. Can everybody hear me with this mask? Okay. <clears throat> I'm John Melvance. I'm a Qantas member, but I'm also a Hardwick Rescue Squad member. So it is my honor <coughs> to nominate Lindsay Osteen. Lindsay is the president of the Hardwick Emergency Rescue Squad. <coughs> Lindsay has that very rare quality of wanting to volunteer, <coughs> excuse me, in giving back to her community. Lindsay moved to Vermont in 2015 wanting to be part of a community. Lindsay is from Maryland, where she received her formal education as a doctorate of physical therapy. She soon realized that was not enough and took a Firefighter One class and an EMT class. <coughs> Excuse me. Settling down in Hardwick, Lindsay had the chance to share her talents in public safety and help her community. And then a few months later, joined the Hardwick Emergency Rescue Squad. Lindsay has continued her educational pursuits and earned a master's in healthcare administration and also as an advanced EMT certification. Lindsay was VP or vice president of Hardwick Rescue for two years before she was elected president last year, <coughs> excuse me, in the middle of the COVID pandemic. For most of that time, Hardwick Rescue had several members unable to run due to compromised immune systems. However, under Lindsay's leadership, Hardwick Rescue responded to 798 calls in 2021 and only had to rely on mutual aid for very few. In order to accomplish this, Lindsay was instrumental, <coughs> excuse me, these masks, I'll tell you. You need first aid, don't get <laughs> <laughs> So in order to accomplish this, Lindsay was instrumental in getting the membership vaccinated and boosted, me personally, 
As well, Lindsay has organized and taught EMT classes, adding to our membership with several actual recent graduates. <coughs> I, could take, I could talk all night about Lindsay, telling you everything Lindsay does as president of the HRS, but we have several deserving individuals tonight. So let me just say on behalf of HRS, excuse me, Hardwick Rescue, <laughs> the Hardwick area, we are incredibly fortunate that Lindsay chose to live here. It gives me great pleasure to present Lindsay with a Hardwick Humanitarian Award. Okay. Thank you very much. I, I would like to say my, my uh, shameless plug for volunteering for your community. I realize probably all of you do that who are here tonight, but since we have the, the fortunate to have our local TV station, um, Hardwick Rescue is always looking for new members, drivers, um, but joining this community, it was just fantastic to find a way to meet new people and give back, and there's no greater gift than showing up to someone's home on the worst day of their life and making it that much better. So hopefully anyone out there, if you are desiring to volunteer or want to help us, we're always looking for help mm -hmm. and all these other um, nominees and recipients who are doing just such great work. So thank you. Our next award, and I will call upon Town Manager Dave Upson Jr. to make this presentation from the Town of Hartford. Thank you, Richard. Thanks, buddy. So, first of all, I'd like to thank Sherry and Richard and Kiwanis for putting this on. I think these events are great. Um, they need to happen more. Uh, the last couple of years have been pretty heavy on all of us, and I'm looking forward to moving forward and the Spring Festival, and all the good things that are going to be happening in Hardwick. Ben, well, yes? We used to do this in the townhouse, and you promised me that you're going to work on that. Right? I, I, will, I promise a lot of things. <laughs> uh, so um, I wanted to, to recognize Scott Gagnon tonight. Um, he's one of the officers at the, the police department. Um, Scott, I want to recognize you for your dedication to public service, um, not only to Hardwick, but um, to the areas and the communities that you've served over the last 30 years. Uh, your commitment to the health and safety of the people you have assisted and facilitated assisting to over the years um, in the many communities you have served is, is awesome. More importantly, I want to thank you for your steadfast commitment to the people of this community since you joined the Hardwick Police Department. Being a police officer has never been an easy job, and in the current climate, there are many forces working against the mission to serve. You serve your community with, the, with positivity, positivity and always with a great attitude. Thank you, Officer Gagnon. I want to share two emails, um, or not emails, two uh, narratives that I got from um, two of the uh, people I work with um, regarding Officer Gagnon. Um, I, asked, I asked Scott if he was interested in purchasing Girl Scout cookies from my daughter. He was, but also mentioned he knew lots of other people in his town that would be interested in purchasing them too. So he and his wife, who's here tonight with Scott, um, all on their own set out to collect as many orders as possible to help my daughter meet her sales goal. Scott and his wife have helped my daughter for three years in a row now, even, even without being asked. They wanted to help her because her name was the same as someone very close and special to them. If that isn't thoughtful, I'm not sure what is. Another uh, narrative here. When Scott was promoted to become a full-time dispatcher, he knew that he had big shoes to fill. He was coming into the position knowing that Lisa Fecto, who had worked for the department just shy of 32 years, had passed away a few months prior. Knowing Lisa and working with Lisa for a short period of time, Scott had respect towards Lisa's family, the department, and the town to keep Lisa's memory alive. He has made time to sit down with her family, introduce himself, and listen to their wishes. He has never once wanted to re replace Lisa. Instead, he wanted to bring his knowledge to the department to be part of the Hardwick Police Department full-time. 
The town made a great choice when not only hiring Scott as a police officer, but promoting him to the dispatcher role. Scott's respect towards the employees and the town's residents is truly amazing. His, he, he is hardworking, knowledgeable, and truly goes above and beyond and has a heart of gold. So Scott um, came to the department as a part-time officer and took over the role as a dispatcher and um, admin duties. But um, since I became town manager in the last couple months, Scott's been doing pretty much everything at the police department. Um, so I want to just recognize him and give him this award. Thank you, Scott, for your time. Right. I just want to say that it's been a pleasure uh, to work here. The people in this community have been more than welcoming. I've been involved with community services, he said, for well over 30 years uh, as a firefighter, EMT. Worked 20 years as assistant medical examiner, uh, and now here. And uh, I am very happy here, intend on staying here the rest of my career. And I just want to thank everybody uh, that's involved with this and uh, let people know that I'm here and I plan on staying. Sweet. Next award will be presented by Diana Paduzzi. Will you please come up and present the award from the Arctic Area Food Bank? I'm a board member of the Hardwick Area Food Pantry, and we wanted to recognize Laura Lee's work and appreciate this opportunity. <laughs> Hiring Laura Lee was one of the first events I was involved in upon joining the board. She came to us in August 2019 from a career in social services in the Northeast Kingdom. It was a turbulent time at the pantry. I don't even know how she learned the job because I think the prior director had left. Uh, but somehow she grabbed hold and uh, got things in order. And then six months later, in the spring of 2020, COVID came along and everything had to change. During those first few months, uh, all kinds of new procedures were implemented to keep everyone safe and continue to feed to meet the increasing demand as people lost their jobs or became more isolated. Donations flooded in from our generous community. Laura Lee continued to develop relationships with local suppliers for products like eggs, milk, meat, bread, cheese, fresh vegetables, and also making sure we were taking advantage of the generous increases in funds and products available through the Vermont Food Bank. A delivery program was developed to serve those who could not come into the pantry or did not feel safe venturing out. Groceries were hauled inside and outside and back and forth from storage areas. Around that time, our fantastic host, the Church of St. John the Baptist, stopped using their chapel, and so we were able to store extra grocery supplies in there. That was very helpful. Uh, and they've been a wonderful to provide the food pantry itself. Laura Lee has developed a group of committed volunteers without whom all these services would not have been possible and the volunteers are very loyal to her. Finally, within the last year, she's worked with volunteers in Craftsbury and Albany, helping them to develop their own food pantries and eventually bringing them all under the umbrella of the Hardwick Area Food Pantry so that now those other pantries have access to the reduced price groceries from the Vermont Food Bank, and they all work within the management and financial structure of the Hardwick Area Food Pantry. The board is very thankful for Laura Lee's professional level work, her kindness, and respectful treatment of all our clients who just love her. Recently, we have received good and bad news that she's made an important life decision to take advantage 
of an educational opportunity to study for a master's degree in consulting, uh, in counseling at NVU. She'll remain at the pantry part-time to oversee the Hardwick site a few hours a week for the time being, but uh, we are recruiting for a new director. It's a 20-hour job. It's uh, a wonderful group to work with if anybody's interested. <laughs> uh, so on behalf of the Hardwick Area Food Pantry Board, I also want to thank Kiwanis for this recognition of our director and for your generous financial support over the years. Laura Lee, we wish you continued success and fulfillment as you expand your dream to help others. particular one. Um, we set this up so that businesses and organizations of all kinds can nominate someone. And what happened was when word got out, um, several people contacted me and other people and said, um, Elizabeth Rossano really needs to get one of these awards. And so we went out to search for an organization or a business, and Bear Bissett stepped up. And he said, yeah, sure, this is great. He said, I just, I know, you know, you can give me some bullets about some of the other stuff I, I don't know about, but she, he said, I know what I'm going to start with. He said, I'm going to start with telling everybody that before I met Elizabeth, I weighed 150 pounds. <laughs> so anybody who knows Bear <laughs> would find that funny. Um, so, so Bethy and I uh, made some bullets um, to to read. And Elizabeth, can you like stop filming? Or no, you don't want to stop filming. <laughs> but can you put it on auto? Okay. <laughs> I just gotta get a wide See, she's so community-minded, she's actually filming for the Hardwick Community <laughs> TV while she's also come closer. Do you want me to read that? Yes, please. Okay. So this was a group effort of all the bio. <laughs> we kind of contacted a bunch of people to get some feedback because a lot of people know Elizabeth on different things. Many Hardwickians know Elizabeth Rosano as the donut lady Monday morning, free donuts have been a bright spot in the pandemic for baker's dozens of passers-by at Donut's car store. Mm -hmm. And here, this part is a quote, when it comes to cures for the Monday morning blues, nothing is more well-rounded than the donut, <laughs> quote, said Scott Fleischman of WCAX, who did a feature story about her effort with her husband, Griffin Lucier. The couple moved into an East Hardwick home that used to serve as a potato barn. She had been wanting to make cake style donuts and when she found an old New England potato donut recipe, everything came together. Elizabeth and Griffin have converted their front yard into a vegetable and flower garden, which neighbors enjoy seeing and smelling every time they walk by. Elizabeth has enthusiastically supported several modern times theater and Grange events, including the Children's Carnival, the Fall Festival, Bingo Night. 
offering donuts and french fries, usually donating her time and or ingredients. Elizabeth has also been deeply involved with Hardwick Community Television and recently was named as the new director of the Public Television Project. Her background in film and her love of her community have combined to create videos to support the building of the pavilion at Atkins Field, entrepreneurs creating their own businesses at the Vermont Food Venture Center. Some of her video work, which shows her deep love of community, her talent, and the joy that can be found in everyday life, can be seen on her YouTube channel. How to Human, right? Is that how, <laughs> how it's called? Yeah. How, yeah. Elizabeth Rosano is a Hardwick humanitarian in the best sense of the word. I'm really nervous to, to speak, but I thought I would just try. And I just, I thought about um, a metaphor. Um, Mary Ellen Levinsky told me something that an elder told to her many years ago, um, pick your garden and tend it. And that resonated with me because I felt like I had picked Hardwick. And um, so, and at the same time, um, I feel like I'm also like a tender sprout in that garden. and. So many of you are also tending that garden, and so I benefit from your nourishment and your care. So I just see this award as not just my own, but thank you, everybody. <laughs> As the master of ceremonies here, I'm, I'm very pleased to listen and uh, to and take part of this ceremony for all these award recipients tonight. Okay, uh, this is going to conclude our ceremony tonight, and it does. And I'm asked to say, doesn't it feel good to know our community is in such good hands? Yes, it is. Thank you all for supporting these folks who receive the area Hardick Area Awards tonight. Um, as a person who's lived here all, <clears throat> pretty much most of my life, uh, born in Greensboro but lived in Hardwick all my life, um, I, a lot of people step up and do things over the years, and I'm, I'm hoping it'll still continue because community like ours won't last unless people step up and do things and be a part of it. All right, and that, that I'm sure you can, you can take that to the bank, and those communities will last. And, we're, we're a good community. Uh, the publicity we've, that we've gotten um, and stuff for, for, and or for different things. I mean, other communities do a lot of nice things as well, but it's nice to honor people in the, each of our communities to, to keep up the good work and the enthusiasm so it will continue. All right. Thank you all very much for coming. And I'm asked to say that following this awards, uh, family, friends, anyone uh, are welcome to stay. I guess it's cider snacks, it says here. Right over there. Right over there, oh, right on the table, right here in this very room. You don't have to move away at all. And, uh, and see, if, congratulate everybody, as, uh, which I am doing, and we'll finish the show. Thank you all very much for coming. Thank you. <laughs>